Eddie, have you heard from Jarrell Miller since the, the yeah, third? He actually texted me about an hour ago. Oh, he did? Yeah. And no, he just said, like, I've watched all your interviews and, you know, there's more to this and I'll be back and, you know, all this sort of stuff. So. And what has Anthony Joshua said about this whole ordeal? He's, he's shocked by the extent of, you know, what happened. Like, the first test, okay. He actually said to me, AJ, after the first test, you know, I feel, I almost feel for Miller. I mean, it's not like he was sticking needles in his ass. Right? That's what he actually said. And then two days later, we found out he probably was sticking needles in his ass with human growth hormone. So, like, he, I think, what he actually said to me as well this morning was, because I had a call with him half an hour before the way, and he went, God, oh, it would have been a war. You know. <laughs> yeah, he said, uh, he said it's going to be a, he said, can you imagine that fight would have been a war? I said, yeah, it would have been dangerous. That's what it would have been, because you wouldn't have stopped. And he, he probably wouldn't have been allowed to stop because of what was in his body. So Eddie, we don't want that. You know? Did he apologize Eddie? to Anthony? Had no. He, no attempt of any kind. But listen, I'm all up for forgiveness, you know? I like to think that it's a bit like, you know, when someone commits a crime and goes to prison, right? At what point do you forgive them? Do you ever forgive them? Depends how bad the crime is, maybe. I don't know. But I like to think that everybody deserves forgiveness. But right now, like, I don't feel like that. So but that means you won't promote any more of his fights any time in the future? Never say never. But right now, I think he should be banned from the sport for life. But there needs to be, like, he has to come out, in my opinion, and tell the story of what happened. Like, he's saying, oh, I didn't know this, like, what, so what? You were just putting things in you, like, inject EPO, human growth hormone, without knowing what they were. Like, but at least tell the story. You can't say, oh, you know, the truth will come out. Tell the truth then. Tell the, I'd, I'd respect him more if he come out and say, yeah, you know what? I thought to myself, I need to win this fight. And I got talked into by my training team or these people, my conditions, that I should be taking this stuff. And I made a mistake. I'd rather that than like, the, the statement's nothing, what he said. It doesn't really say anything other than, hold my hands up. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Cynthia Conti, and I want to welcome all of you to my new channel, The Real Fight Girl. So make sure you guys click and subscribe right here. And remember, it's fight night, bitches! <laughs>